All right, let's get started. In this video, we're going to be covering the matchup analysis for Xiaoyu. Uh, previous videos, we talked about what to do reactively and defensively. This, this video is going to focus primarily on our offensive options, especially of how to enter jab games, how to close gaps, and also how to deal with AOP, which is what most of this video is going to be concerned. So without further ado, let's start off. So AOP is performed by doing kind of this crouch state, which has a lot of bad properties for King, in which a lot of our moves are going to just completely whiff, uh, especially during our normal kind of poking game that we want to do. And all of our this closes out all of our jab options, our throw options, and so we have to adapt to what we can do to this situation. All of our lows are going to be able to actually connect, so we have down 3, uh, down forward 4, just straight down 4, crouch dash 1, down back 3, down back 4, uh, and then we also have 4 forward neutral 2, as a few examples of what we can do. We have our mid options that we can do are uh, crouch dash 1 plus 2, up forward 4, this will hit one choose an AOP. Uh, when we're at very close range, we should be able to do 4, 3, and do 1 plus 2 for 38 damage. Uh, and then we have a few other options, but these aren't as safe. A 4 forward 1, this move can be ducked in AOP. In which, obviously, that's not good, because if we whip this move, then she can punish us. And because this is our main gap closer, this is really bad to do, uh, so don't try to do that. Also, wall standing 4 a lot of time is going to whip, uh, especially in a lot of different states, so this is not kind of the preferred way to go. Same thing with wall standing 2-2, wall standing 2-2, two, two, wall standing 1 plus 2. These are all going to whip. That's why doing either just a low attack or just straight up 4-3, 1 plus 2 is going to kind of put damage onto the opponent. And just to kind of show a 4-4, that's going to hit mid. And then we also have crouch dash 1 plus 2, which is my preferred way to kind of gap close and apply pressure. Uh, is kind of our safe options. While I did show some instances where our down forward 1 is going to whiff, this is still a not too bad of a tool to try to poke out in a lot of situations. And in my defensive video, we actually found instances where we can make this elbow kind of guaranteed. So, in the AOP state, we can always do a crouch throw. And it doesn't matter how low she tries to get, we can do a crouch throw of either the down 1 plus 3 or down 2 plus 4. Then one of the last mids, I guess, is up for 3, but this is very seldom used because if we whip this move, we're in a lot of trouble, so we don't really want to do that. Um, and so what this does, unfortunately, a lot of jabs... King's game involves kind of jab and down forward two, jab, giant swings, and kind of this type of setup nature, or even just down one two, to keep applying pressure. With the instance of AOP, we can't do this a lot. We can't just keep throwing these moves out because everything can be kind of ducked under this AOP. Uh, so keep that in mind. Even weird mids like our shoulder rush can be ducked by AOP, so we don't have a lot of good safe options of how to break this gap. So, unfor so unfortunately we just have to work this jab game and get one to two damage in every once in a while, and so it becomes a pure poke game and eliminates a lot of our jab centric gameplay. One of the setups that Xiaoyu likes to do is do uh, one two into sidestep right into AOP, which looks something like this. AOP naturally is going to place her a little bit to the right, so if you are able to sidestep and then go into AOP, you kind of get an extra sway. But when you do that, it's going to whiff a lot of moves that you're trying to kind of counterattack with it, and then she can kind of get a punish on you. So this is something to consider that you need to be playing this kind of move very safe. Even just doing a down forward one, we can punish that option. Uh, so just be very careful of kind of the timing of all of these actions and you do almost have to play a little bit more defensively and then that after they've kind of committed to a decision, we have to punish it. 
Uh, so even you can try to delay it a little bit. And so rather than always saying, oh, I, it's my turn to attack, just hold block for just a second because it will auto adjust. And then a lot of our options that we talked about before are going to auto focus on uh, Shayu and then we can actually get a proper punish off. Uh, it, it has to be perfectly timed, and that's why we're kind of look for our kind of safe options of what to do. Um, or it's going to turn out into some really kind of awkward types of play. Uh, but overall, this jab game is completely unfortunately controlled by Xiaoyu, or like how you dictate the fight. And you're just going to be looking for options. So unfortunately, this matchup is more defensive in the nature in which we can't apply pressure, we can't do our multi-throws, uh, or even just kind of jab setups, we can't abuse a lot of that type of game style. So entering this matchup, we have to be extremely patient, we have to get our either, even just one, a lot of times we can't even properly just punish with one, two, we usually would be able to kind of try to steal our turn because we would be able to get punished by Xiaoyu. So we do have to just do very simple one, kind of string pokes and trying not to fall into a lot of these evasion traps because he is very evasive with that AOP tool. But as soon as you're able to kind of control this and kind of get a feel for what your opponent is trying to do with all the different mix-ups, you should be able to um, accommodate for it. Like the example string that we have here, it is punishable. So every single time that we see this, we know exactly that we can get more and more damage off. So if they try to keep abusing this, we can stop it right in the tracks. And if we kind of do the analysis of our offense, our, our offense is all dictated on their offense. And so it is more of a defensive plan, but that's how we have to address this mix-up. Or address this matchup. Um, and while it's very unfortunate, we can still kind of do our normal mixture of kind of moves to kind of capitalize on this match. Uh, so, other than kind of the AOP kind of setups, if your opponent isn't abusing that move a lot, you can go directly into what we talked about of what you can't do with kind of our, our jab setups um, or and just kind of abusing different aspects there. Uh, we can. I would still like to use a little bit more mids when at all possible. You can use our classic 4 forward one gap closers. Uh, you can drop the elbows, you can drop the two, down forward two, and so on and so forth to try to keep pressure. But a lot of it is going to be kind of walk in, poke, and just kind of back up and kind of see what your the opponent's going to do. Get in here, drop an elbow, wait for what they're going to do. Shayu players are able to do a lot of uh, evasion, but a lot of their moves are also low, so if we are able to just kind of get a jab in and then look for a low parry or a low block and then punish appropriately, this is how we're going to just slowly dwindle down on Shayu, and if she tries any more of her kind of aggressive setups, uh, which are going to be punishable, then, well, then we just take the full combo to our game. So that's all I wanted to talk about today, which is a few key notes on Shayu's AOP and kind of how to address her um, at a offensive level. We can fall into our kind of normal tropes, but if we just keep doing it even just like our 1-2 strings or down 1-2, uh, we will be able to get punished by Xiaoyu players who, who know the evasion tactics. So be very careful when addressing these issues. All it is is get in, get your one or two pokes in, and then kind of back up. Look for guaranteed damage um, in this defensive four mindset. So with that, that's all I want to discuss today. Hopefully you learned something. If you liked what you saw, make sure to please hit that subscribe button, and we're going to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.